Yo, what's up, guys? Foxy coming to you yesterday with a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're going to be covering Cold War being free, and we're going to look at the MAC-10 SMG. This thing shreds, and Cold War is free for everybody right now. At least multiplayer is. So we're going to discuss that. Hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do enjoy this video and you guys want to come back for more Cold War content, if you guys could leave an early like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications for me. We'd greatly appreciate it. Go follow me on my Twitch. It's down in the description below as well. We stream over there every single night. Without further ado, let's go, bros. Alrighty. So, this is Holiday Nuketown. And this is one of the new maps that we couldn't get in the other day, but we can get in it now. And I just got destroyed by a GKS. Or not GKS. I always keep wanting to call this a GKS because the GKS had a three-round burst operator mod on it. But we just got headshots done for this gun. This thing is nuts. This thing is insane. The MAC-10 especially in warzone you can make the argument for the mac 10 being one of the best smgs in the game i don't know it's got a really fast rate of fire if you can control the recoil then it definitely has the potential to be one of the best smgs in the game god damn but see that's the thing you gotta control the you gotta control the recoil i will say it's really really hard to go up against augs and m16s with people head glitching and stuff like that it's really really tough with this weapon but you got to maneuver it somehow you got to get around to it yeah, that's awesome. Way to spawn me in front of somebody! From now until Christmas Eve, which is a week away from today, you guys will be able to play Black Ops Cold War for free on all platforms. In addition to that, Double XP starts today, and I believe Double Weapon XP starts tomorrow and Double XP. So I have both of those if you guys are just grinding the game and things like that. What do you guys need to know about this week-long free trial of Cold War? It's not available within Warzone. In order to download it, you must visit the, your platform store to download and play Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. This this is only for the multiplayer. For PlayStation, you gotta open up Call of Duty Warzone, go to the store tab, scroll to franchise store, and you should see the free access option there. For Xbox, you should visit the Xbox store on your console and search Black Ops Cold War free access and download to play. With PC, you should access via blizzardbattle.net and you should go to the Black Ops tab and there will be an option for try for free. This will begin the installation of the game. A lot of people are wondering why they're doing this. Uh, some people are saying that sales are low. I don't really know, to be honest. I feel like they're doing it because Warzone's integration just got put in the game. And I also feel like they're allowing people to get new attachments and things like that for their guns. Obviously, with the integration going on, a lot of people who didn't buy Cold War off the rip don't have any of the attachments or anything for any guns. Now, from December 17th to the 21st, there will be four or five modes you can play there's team deathmatch domination 2v2 gunfight nuketown holiday 24 7 and raid the mall and then from the 21st to the 24th you'll get all stage one modes and playlists and then you guys will be able to play prop hunt combined arms hardpoint and fire team dirty bomb and fire team dirty bomb is the best way to level up your weapons so if you're looking to level up your weapons go play fire team dirty bomb I'm going to plug this real quick because the, my TikToks have been getting a little bit more views lately. If you guys do have a TikTok, you guys can go follow me down in the description below. I try to post there every single day. I do like little class setup videos and things like that over there as well. I'll probably end up doing one for the Mac 10. I feel like it's another way to grow my brand and things like that. So I figured I would make one a while back and I've, I've been posting there. I mean, not con super consistently, but I'm trying to get more consistent on posting over there. So if you guys want to go follow me over there, you guys can. Really awesome content. Some raging goes on over there. It's just, it's just a fun time. <laughs> All right, well, oh, it's for nothing already. Well, that's, that's, that kind of sucked. I was literally just like looking at Twitter real quick. So <laughs> see if we can get something going here. All right, there we go. No, no, no. No, what? come on, bro. Melee him. Beat his ass or something. So I would really like to get dark matter for this, but I don't know when that's going to happen. I mean, it should happen pretty soon. Dude, like I'm looking back there the whole time and someone just spawned next to him. Did you guys, did you guys see that? They tried to make the spawn so that way people don't get spawn trapped too much on this map anymore. And it's pretty much like ruined it in my opinion because it's just, they're all over the place. They said that they added more spawns to mid map, but that just kind of breaks the map even more in my opinion, because then you have people spawning next to you or spawning behind you all the time, no matter what mode you're playing. And that sucks in my opinion. So. Yo, like... Oh my god, shotguns, bro. I'm not looking forward to the new shotgun coming out, to be honest. I'm gonna be real. I mean, I'm excited to use it and make people mad, but I'm not looking forward to dying to it, to be honest. 
Oh, oh, that's a sentry. I was like, I thought someone was up there, but it wasn't a person. It was just a sentry gun. I guess this hip fire first thing kind of worked. Nope. Stop shooting at me, stupid. Wait, what? This is so... This is so stupid. <laughs> you suck! I don't know, man. What do you guys think of the Season 1 update, man? I'm digging it for the most part. I don't like how they changed the spawns for Nuketown. I've already said that, but I I'm gonna say it again. I think it, makes, I think it makes it even more chaotic, and it's not supposed to be... I feel like it shouldn't be like that at all times. You know, like... There should be times where, yes, there's maps that are chaotic. And this map is already chaotic enough with how the streak system works in this game. So adding the random spawn element to it makes it even worse. It almost feels like shipment. You could technically say it feels like shipment from World War II mixed with Modern Warfare because of how crazy the spawns are plus requisition. That's what it feels like. Oh, almost had it. It just feels weird, dude. It just feels weird. Yeah, my man just tried to do a 360. 